The Interagency Prescribed Fire Planning Implementation Procedures Guide PMS 484, establishes national interagency standards for the planning and implementation of prescribed fire, including the requirements and process to conduct a technical review of a prescribed fire plan. This training module focuses on conducting technical reviews of prescribed fire plans covering qualifications and experience level, technical reviewer checklist, complexity analysis, prescription parameters, and agency administrator role and responsibilities. Historically, fire has played an important role in the ecological functioning of ecosystems. Over the past 100 to 200 years, fire occurrence has decreased dramatically, which has led to declining forest health and increased fuel loadings. Worsened by climate change and the expansion of the wildland-urban interface, wildfire risks have been elevated across the nation. Additionally, over the past 20 years, there has been a drastic increase in the number of large and destructive wildfires, which continue to threaten lives, property, and infrastructure. This has initiated an increase in fuels and forest health treatments. Landscape-scale prescribed fire has proven to be one of the most effective treatments in reducing wildfire risk and restoring ecosystem health. It's important to understand the integral role technical reviews have on prescribed fire plans. Review of objectives, prescription parameters, resource needs, methods for ignition, and holding plans ensure the project is being done for the right reasons, under the right conditions, with the right resources, and the right method. Ensures objectives will be met, and the project is being done for the right reason. Ensures weather conditions are identified which will create fire behavior that meets project objectives. Ensures adequate resources are planned to hold the prescribed fire to minimize the probability of escape and contingency plans identified if a fire were to escape. Ensures safety considerations are identified and reduces risk of accident and injuries involving firefighters and public. Ensures that the public, community and partners are identified and improves the understanding of prescribed fire and community partner relationships. Prescribed fire has inherent risk, and recent escaped prescribed fires that became wildfires demonstrate that even a very small percentage of fire escapes can have severe consequences. Good technical reviews by individuals with a depth of experience can help in identifying pitfalls that lead to objectives not being met and risk not being identified that results in unwanted consequences, whether it be accidents, injuries, negative public perception, or broken community relations. A review of the 2000 Cerro Grande prescribed fire suggests that future policy modifications to prescribed fire plans should include both a technical review and an on-site technical review. In 2008, PMS 484 introduced the standard requirement and process for a technical review of prescribed fire plans and has maintained that requirement with an update released in May 2022. Every prescribed fire plan must receive a technical review for policy. Agency or individual unit policy may require additional reviews of prescribed fire plans that cover interagency, mixed ownership prescribed fires. The technical reviewer and prescribed fire plan preparer must be qualified or have been previously qualified as a prescribed fire burn boss at an experience level equal to or higher than the complexity being reviewed. Either the technical reviewer or the prescribed fire plan preparer must be current in their qualification, minus the physical fitness requirement. At a minimum, NWCG qualifications for prescribed fire burn boss will be accepted. Only an RXB1 can review plans at high complexity. Either an RXB1 or RXB2 can review plans of moderate to low complexity. An RXB3 is allowed to function as a prescribed fire plan preparer for a low complexity plan, but not a technical reviewer. Ideally, the technical reviewer should have local knowledge of the area, experience burning in similar fuel types, or have previous experience conducting an on-site review. Additionally, the technical reviewer must be someone other than the prescribed fire plan preparer. Interagency mixed ownership prescribed fire plans require a technical review and approval from each agency administrator. Individual agencies or individual unit policy may require additional more restrictive standards above and beyond what has been established within PNS 484. However, the minimum standards in the guide must be adhered to. The technical reviewer is responsible for reviewing each prescribed fire plan element for content, as well as evaluating the risk and complexity analysis to ensure that the goals and objectives can be safely and successfully achieved. 
The technical reviewer needs to understand the appropriate interagency guidance, requirements, manuals, and handbooks. The goal of the technical review is to identify items that could lead to unwanted outcomes and overall, improve the prescribed fire plan. The technical review must review every element for content. It's important to pay particular attention to the following items. Ensure prescribed fire plans meet agency policy and direction. Ensure the complexity analysis accurately represents the project so the agency administrator understands the risks to identified values and ensures adequate mitigation is provided in the prescribed fire plan to justify the pre- and post-risk ratings. This may require on-site review in Wildland Urban Interface or high-complexity situation by the technical reviewer. Use the example complexity analysis and prescribed fire plan elements commonalities example in Appendix B of PMS 424, Prescribed Fire Complexity Rating System Guide. The crosswalk provides examples of common linkages between the complexity analysis and the prescribed fire plan elements and can be used as a tool to ensure elements rated in the complexity analysis are addressed in the prescribed fire plan. Each individual prescribed fire plan may have slightly different linkages. The technical reviewer provides concurrence with the calculated final complexity determination and may provide the plan preparer and agency administrator with a recommendation for the final complexity determination. This has been identified as a failure in previous escaped fire reviews. Ensure objectives tier to land management and fire management plans, NEPA documents, and silvicultural prescription, and if they are smart in nature. Check the prescription parameters by fuel types to ensure that the project, as planned, has a reasonable chance or realistic opportunity of meeting the resource management objectives. This may require on-site review to ground truth. Use of land fire fuel model data can provide a starting point to review the fuel model selected. Ensure the fire behavior calculations or prescription parameters are appropriate and within the acceptable range, or both, to meet objectives. This may require on-site review to fully assess. Consider including Fire Behavior Analysts FBAN or Long-Term Fire Analysts LTAN for review and assessment. Ensure the ignition, holding, and contingency plans are consistent with the predicted fire behavior and fuel types inside and outside the planned ignition unit. This may require on-site review to fully assess. Complete and sign Appendix B Technical Reviewer Checklist, Prescribed Fire Plan, and the Element 1, Signature Page, Prescribed Fire Plan. There is a lot of assumed knowledge in the technical review checklist. Ensure your technical reviewer has the necessary knowledge. Every plan has room for improvement. The desired end state of this review is an honest and unfiltered review that provides constructive criticism. It is acceptable for other specialists to assist with the technical review of certain portions of the plan. However, a primary technical reviewer must be designated as technical review signatory. For example, objectives may be reviewed by a silviculturalist, wildlife biologist, or other natural resource staff with knowledge of the project. A fire behavior analyst may review the fire behavior calculations. The aviation manager may review the air operations plan, or resource specialists may review impacts to their area of interests. It is recommended that at least once every year, each unit should send a moderate or high complexity prescribed fire plan off unit for technical review. For high-complexity prescribed fires, consider incorporating an off-unit technical review with a different forest, agency, or region. This is encouraged to provide an additional independent perspective. Agency or individual unit policy may require the need for additional requirements and reviews prior to agency administrator approval of the prescribed fire plan. The goal is for an unbiased and honest review of the prescribed fire plan. This review provides an opportunity for validation of the plan and to identify areas for improvement, which in turn contribute to a higher probability of success. The technical on-site peer review, also known as a plan in hand review, can occur as part of the prescribed fire plan technical review phase or prior to the plan being submitted for technical review. A team of on and off unit peers and specialists are assembled and an on-site review of the plan is conducted to evaluate if the complexity analysis accurately represents the project. Review objectives to ensure they meet the intent of the project outcomes. Assessment of fuels within and adjacent to proposed burn units to determine if any significant changes have occurred. Evaluation of prescription parameters and anticipated fire behavior within and adjacent to burn units. 
identify gaps or potential problems in the ignition, holding, and contingency plans. When evaluating, consider fuels conditions within and adjacent to the burn units. Consider anticipated fire behavior within and outside of prescription parameters. Identify potential changes to the prescribed fire plan. Document recommendations and changes to the plan. Commonalities of incomplete or erroneous technical reviews of prescribed fire plans include the following. Technical review was completed as per policy requirements. However, the prescribed fire plan would have benefited by more thorough review, possibly by reviewers outside of the unit to ensure that a high-quality document is produced. Unfamiliarity by agency administrators and technical reviewers with the guidelines found in the interagency PMS 484, as well as the PMS 424, Prescribed Fire Complexity Rating System Guide when reviewing a prescribed fire plan. Complexity Rating Underestimated The complexity analysis provided the agency administrator with a picture that indicated risks had been reduced, when in fact that was not the case, and the final complexity rating was underrepresented. Not enough time was given for project planning, which contributed to the prescribed fire plan not receiving a thorough technical review. Unrepresentative fire behavior modeling based on inadequate prescription elements contributed to underrepresenting actual complexity, which affected holding tactics and contingency planning, not assessing fuels conditions and potential fire behavior adjacent to planned burn units. Treating the technical review as just a checklist and not conducting a thorough and comprehensive review. The end of the CG prescribed fire plan template PMS 484-1 is supplemental to PMS 484. The plan is the site-specific legal implementation document that provides the agency administrator the information needed to approve the prescribed fire plan, and the prescribed fire burn boss the information needed to implement the prescribed fire plan. The agency administrator has final approval authority for all prescribed fire plans, unless special circumstances warrant higher review and concurrence, such as may occur during higher preparedness levels or for extremely large, complex projects. Review of the burn plan by the agency administrator should not be done in a vacuum, including the local FMO, fuel specialist, technical review, and resource specialist can provide a comprehensive final review of the burn plan. At a minimum, three dated signatures are required on the signature page, element one, a prescribed fire plan preparer, a technical reviewer, and an agency administrator. Additional reviewer signatures, such as resource specialists or advisors, may be included as required by agency or local policies. The agency administrator's approval signature indicates that the prescribed fire plan meets agency policy, reflects the conditions specified in the project NEPA decision, has undergone a technical review, and that necessary agreements are in place. When changes to a prescribed fire plan are necessary, the plan must be amended to identify the affected sections, the reason for the changes, and have the changes clearly identified. For amendments, the need for additional technical review will be determined and justified in writing by the agency administrator. Prescribed fire plan amendments must consider effects to the complexity of the prescribed fire, and therefore the final complexity rating must be reviewed and a new complexity analysis performed if the proposed amendments will result in a change to the risk or technical difficulty of one or more elements in the complexity analysis. Agency or local policy may establish a periodic review or revalidation process, or both. Technical review of any changes is based on agency-specific policy. For example, the U.S. Forest Service requires that if more than one year has elapsed since approval, a prescribed fire plan will be reviewed to ensure assumptions are still valid and conditions have not changed, and that the plan is updated as necessary and resubmitted to the agency administrator for approval. Technical review best management practices include the following. Be objective and unbiased as possible. Consider separation from the prescribed fire plan development such as being employed by a different agency or different unit. Work with the prescribed fire plan preparer and the agency administrator during the process to communicate findings and provide recommendations. Consult other specialists with knowledge of the project. Do not rush the process. Allow sufficient lead time to appropriately evaluate the prescribed plan. Consider an on-site review if not familiar with the area or type of prescribed fire.
In summary, remember the following. Technical review of all prescribed fire plans is a requirement. Agency policy may have additional requirements for technical reviews. Technical reviews cover all elements of the prescribed fire plan and complexity analysis. The technical reviewer should be objective and ideally have separation from the prescribed fire plan development, such as being employed by a different agency. The technical review should offer an unbiased and honest review of the burn plan. Technical reviews offer the opportunity to review and identify areas of concern and address and improve the overall prescribed fire plan to increase the probability of success. The agency administrator review and signature provides the final approval of the prescribed fire plan.